Our next speaker will cover the many patient assistant programs that are available to you. Ms. Jerry Francoeur has been involved in advocacy since she first started working in the medical field. Her passion for breast advocacy became more focused when she lost her best friend to inflammatory breast cancer. Her mission is to assist women in making educated decisions about treatment and then getting them whatever they need to reach that decision. There are a lot of financial resources out there and when you're diagnosed with cancer, it's a financial burden as well as emotional and everything else. Um, I was one of the ones when I was diagnosed, my husband had excellent insurance and then after I had my mastectomy, his boss dropped the insurance so I had everything else had to come out of pocket. So I know the stresses of having to find care and being able to pay for it and all of that. So it has sort of been my goal to um, find things to help men and women who are somehow financially really burdened. So far, I've got a large network and we haven't failed, but there's a lot of money out there. You just have to know where to look. There are also a lot of organizations that um, grant money out to help pay for rent, for uh, car payment, co-pays, um, lots of different monies out there that are available. And usually these are small local grassroots organizations. And again, you sort of need to know they're there, but if you call any of the, the cancer organizations, they usually know where they are. Um, a lot of organizations like Florida Breast Cancer, we have a resource thing on our website that you can look for. You can always call me. I've got um, business cards on the table. There's also um, some booklets over there if you want to take them on um, more resources for you. But Komen, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the Ovarian, Prostate, there's a lot of them. And again, you sort of have to hunt deeper to find the smaller local grassroots. As far as um, pharmaceuticals, the pharmacy companies are really excellent with their patient assistance programs and they have never failed me. Um, it gets a little sticky when you're on Medicare because you can't use discount programs. It's actually Medicare fraud if you use discount programs and people don't know that. Um, but for others who are not Medicare age, um, there's a great app that I used I finally turned 65, but um, it's called GoodRx, and it's on your phone, and it will give you the cheapest of pharmacies all around you. Um, there's a couple online that you can go to. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is going to be controversial, but um, I was actually at a legislative meeting up here a few years ago when we were had the parity issue, and somebody was talking about getting drugs from Canada. And we actually had a pharmaceutical attorney in the meeting with us. And she made the statement that, yes, we sell to the rest of the world at a much reduced rate than we sell to our own people in the U.S. So that's why you can get drugs cheaper from Canada. But you have to be careful where you're getting them from in Canada. But that, that's another option. We've had a lot of Medicare patients who couldn't afford or their prescription wasn't covered and they got it much um, cheaper there and it's the same box, same manufacturer, everything. Just be wary. Um, as far as if you're in Medicaid, that's a state program and I have found out, I, I quit trying to argue with small, I don't want, sounds bad, but smaller people. I go straight to my legislators now. So if you have a Medicaid issue, we elect these state legislators. It's, they work for us and I have had them come in step in and get patients seen, get things they needed in a matter of days. Same thing with Medicare, it's a federal program. Thank you to Flasco for having me and we are really very proud to have granted the money for this because we need more educational um, seminars like this to get the word out, not just on breast cancer but all cancers. Mm -hmm.